On the 31st of July 1948, Independent India made its international football debut at the 1948 London Olympics. They played their first ever international match against France in front of a 17,000 crowd. Sarangapani Raman scored India's first ever international goal in the 70th minute of the match. In the 1952 Helsinki Olympics, Indian football team played against Yugoslavia on the 15th of July 1952. The only goal for the Indian side was scored by Ahmad Khan in the 89th minute as the final goal of the match. The Melbourne Olympics in 1956 will be remembered as the most successful one. The Indian football team finished at the fourth position, reaching the semi-finals of the Olympics. The team beat hosts Australia 4-2 and reached the semi-finals and becoming the first Asian team to do so in Olympic history. It's the first and the only win in the Olympics. In this match, Neville D'Souza scored a hat-trick and became the first ever Indian as well as Asian to score a hat-trick in the Olympics. He scored two goals in the first half at the 9th and 33rd minutes. The third goal was scored in the second half at the 50th minute of the match. Neville D'Souza also scored a goal in the semi-final against Yugoslavia in 52nd minute. In the same match against Australia, at the 80th minute, Krishna Kittu scored the last for India and take the team to the 1956 Melbourne Olympics semi-finals. At 1960 Olympics in Rome, India was placed in a group with strong sides from Hungary, France and Peru. Tulsidas Balaram scored two goals, one each in the matches against Hungary and Peru. India gave a tough fight to Hungary. Tulsidas Balaram scored in 79th minute in this match. In the second match in 1960 Rome Olympics, India hold France to a draw with the help of P.K. Benerjee's goal in the 71st minute. Thank you. Keep smiling.